Hey guys, I wanted to introduce a quick product here I got from the OR show um, this summer. Um, one of these bottle makers hooked me up with a free bottle. And actually, you know what, two of these bottle makers hooked me up with a free bottle this last uh, show uh, last week. And uh, I'm going to hop right into uh, kind of a couple talking points I have here on uh, kind of a water bottle review. That's right, kind of seems a little random, but uh, kind of seems like everybody's carrying around uh, plastic uh, water bottles, which is terrible, and at least the single-use ones, and the reality is there's no need for that. There's plenty of good water bottles out there. Um, there's been a lot of hype on these clean canteens. Um, we, uh, we were given these as a gift. I've got there was one right there for the wife with a different type of nozzle on it. Um, and they seem fine. There's not, you know, in my opinion, there's really nothing special about them. It's just kind of a metal water bottle. Um, the Nalgene, um, it's classic. It's old school. It works. It's nothing fancy. Um, you could throw it off a cliff. It'll be fine. Um, there's no surprises there. Nalgene is just a good Nalgene. Good company. I got nothing but good things to say about Nalgene. Um, and this has been kind of my uh, go-to water bottle of choice. Um, when the water is uh, really cold inside, the Nalgene does sweat. And when it's hot, you can hold it, but it's uh, a little warm in the hand. If you were to put cold water or hot water in the uh, clean canteen or any just normal metal water bottle um, instantly it would either just freeze your hand off or scald your hand and just make it totally unbearable um, we got these little uh, I don't know neoprene kind of cases to go over the uh, clean canteens to kind of help insulate that to help keep it colder or warmer or make it even bearable just to touch with your hand um, but, you know, it doesn't really stand up that well, and it doesn't really work that well, to tell you the truth. And you still have to, you know, take the bottle out and put it back in there, and it just burns your hand or freezes it. And, and both these two uh, right here will sweat quite a bit. So when I were to throw uh, cold water in my bag and go on a bike ride or to work, you know, my iPad would get wet in there, or my phone, and all my stuff would just get sopping wet because these things would just be sweating to death. Um, and, you know, to tell you the truth, before the OR show, I had never even heard of this right here, nor would I ever think of doing a, uh, a water bottle review, because, you know, I thought all metal ones were the same, and Nalgene, there's no, nothing special there, you just kind of have to deal with it. If you didn't want it to sweat, you just kind of put lukewarm water in there, or just, you know, tempered water, and it would be, uh, it would be fine. But this right here... You get a close in on their logo here. Hydro Flask. Kind of a funky little logo there. Um, and this is an insulated stainless steel water bottle. And, you know, looking at it from the outside, you know, comparing them, you would never know. This is their plain one. They have all different colors as well. But you would never know and there was anything special about them. And, and it seems like every company's pumping out a water bottle or two and you know, there there's nothing new to them because they don't do the double wall insulated like they do, the uh, hydro flask. So that means there's a little vacuum seal in between, kind of a little gap in between the outer portion here and the inner portion. And it's amazing, absolutely amazing how well it works. I, for one, will never go back to a normal water bottle. This is the only water bottle for me from now on. Um... It's shocking. It really is when you can leave this water bottle in your car, your hot car, in the sun all day, crack it open, and you still have ice cubes in there. I mean, the water is still cold. Um, they say up to 24 hours for cold water and 12 hours for hot water. I think that's really modest. I think these, that'll push well beyond what this thing can do. These two here um, have nothing, basically, you know. If you wanted this to stay cold, you'd have to basically keep it in the shade or put it in the fridge or whatever. But it, the bottle definitely wouldn't help you. 
and just because it's a little thicker and the plastic helps helps dissipate some of the heat or cold, it's more bearable to touch this when it's hot as opposed to one of these. But I put boiling water in this thing. You could tell it was warmer than normal, you know, just a couple degrees, but it was very comfortable, very comfortable. And if you put freezing cold water in here, it may be, you can only tell maybe just by one or two degrees. So it's extremely shocking and it doesn't sweat. That's my favorite part. You can have full ice water in there, leave it next to your equipment, your electronics, whatever, in your bag, and it's going to stay completely dry. If you put it in the sand or the dirt, it doesn't matter. It's not going to have all the sand and stuff stick to it right there as your normal Nalgene or other bottle would. There are uh, maybe a couple downsides to the uh, this water bottle. Um, like any stainless steel uh, water bottle, it's susceptible to getting dented. If you were to, you know, throw it on the ground, I'm sure it would just get a little dented where your Nalgene would be, uh, you know, pretty impervious to that. I mean, you might scuff it up a little bit, but Nalgene bottles are dang near bulletproof. I mean, you could throw these off a brick wall and, you know, it's just going to be just fine. Where these, you are going to mar them up a little bit. So you would have to treat them a little bit more carefully. But same with your clean canteen or any other, you know, metal water bottle. You, you just can't throw them around like crazy, like you could an algae. But, I mean, if that's a big, big issue for you, that you have to throw your water bottle, then probably you should just stick with an algae. Uh, the caps are really impressive, too. I thought that was kind of a, a copycat from the Nalgene cap. But in all honesty, um, there's a few things that are different. With a Nalgene, the little loop plastic uh, holder here for the lid, the lid seems really flimsy and chintzy. And when you take off the lid, um, you know, you could, it'll dangle way down. And it's kind of like a really thin plastic. And, you know, if you use these bottles long enough and you hook your carabiner to it and hook it to your bag or whatever, that seems to be one of the main places that breaks are these little thin things here. The uh, hydro flask is uh, got this first all this real rubber uh, lining that goes right around it, and uh, it's really quite comfortable taking this on and off. And the other thing I noticed was this plastic rim right here. My goodness, they use so thick of plastic when you open this. I mean, this thing doesn't even want to go anywhere. Sorry, I've got water in it right now, but I mean. Even if you open them, it just snaps kind of back up there. It's really thick. You can just, I mean, you can see it's probably two or three times the thickness easily of what your Nalgene lid is. Um, and you just get a really good seal with that. You can tell with the rubber lining here, it just seals right in and you're good to go. Um, but I've been absolutely thoroughly impressed. One other thing is the uh, Hydro Flask they recommend you don't put in the dishwasher, which is not a big deal at all. I've got so many Nalgene bottles I usually just would rotate them around in my bag and use one for a couple days and then put in the dishwasher and grab the next one and you know around and around I would go but this one um, I'm finding that stainless steel comes cleaner and it's easier to clean than your Nalgene type plastics and different type of rubber linings and plastic linings that a lot of these bottles have. That's just 100% 18-8 stainless steel inside and out. Doesn't retract odors, flavors, anything. You could have coffee or tea or hot chocolate in there, wash it out, go right to soup, wash it out, go right to water all day and not maintain any of that flavor, you know, across the board. It would be really, uh, it's just really easy to clean out and and works really well and I haven't had a problem with it since. They say on the website just use really hot water and either some baking soda or soap and just you know put it in about halfway and give it a good shake and wash it out and you're good to go. Uh, the price point on this is uh, I'm not even going to call it a downside because you're getting such a huge value and the different sizes these come in they come in a few different uh, bottle opening sizes. They have a uh, 12 ounce, 18 ounce, 21 ounce, 24 ounce, 40 ounce, 64 ounce growlers, which is pretty awesome. And they have three different sizes of lid openings. So the options are endless, the colors are endless, but one thing stays the same. 
this bottle is amazing and it is worth its weight in gold really it is awesome it is heavier than you know your standard little water bottle but for what you get out of it you'll never go back plain and simple period and I could not thank the people at the OR show enough this year in Salt Lake 2012 the summer show they gave me this water bottle how cool are they how cool are they? They just straight up hooked me up. This is about a $35, $40 value for the 40 ounce hydro flask with the big mouth opening on it. Um, and those guys just hooked me up. So this is the least I could do is give my honest opinion. And you know me, if it's not something that I don't believe in, I'm not going to say anything good about it on the internet. And, you know, by all means... This thing is amazing, and not only will I always buy their water bottles, I'm pretty sure I have to buy one now for my wife because she caught wind of how cool this bottle is and how well it works and all the great little features about it, and it's BPA-free and just super easy and clean to use. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be buying her one here pretty quick, so I'll, uh, I'll leave it at that, but uh, check them out, hydroflask.com. Thanks.